Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you are all good. Just a very quick tutorial video for you today on the um, on the invisible characters bug or the clipping characters bug, the floating characters bug, whatever one you want to call it in SSX Tricky when running it through the PC SX2 emulator. Typically this, this occurs on a few maps with weird topography uh, and it's, it's a kind of state which can be transferred between characters when you collide with them. Typically swapping between rendering modes is a, an easy short-term fix for it, but if you want to fix it properly then it is simply a case of uh, opening up your emulation settings uh, through the config option uh, and then in that very first window that pops open you've got your e slash iop options. Chances are they'll be on a preset as indicated by the tick mark in the bottom. If you give that a click that opens up all of these options here and then under EFPU advanced recompiler options you just want to change that chop slash zero to nearest then you can go ahead and click apply click OK and then tab back to your game proper uh, if the bug has just affected your player character then pressing your back button will reset your position and it should be fine to carry on from there however if you're noticing it in some of the NPCs you may have to restart the race Otherwise, that should fix the problem for you permanently, and you will have no more invisible or uh, floating characters. So hopefully that helped you if you are having a problem with this particular issue through PCSX2. If you guys do want to know exactly what settings that I'm using for PCSX2 to get things looking like this, and what hardware that I'm using to run it, then do go ahead and check out the video description. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I shall catch you very soon.